2024 Porsche Macan Turbo has 630 horsepower, all electric. For the second generation of its fast selling small crossover, Porsche is going electric. Porsche's best selling model, the Macan, will be an electric car. The German brand just launched its new EV crossover in two forms the 400 to horsepower Macan 4 and the 630 horsepower Macan Turbo. This is a big thing. This second generation Macan uses a platform developed with Audi. Called Premium Platform Electric PPE, the platform uses an 800 volt electric architecture and will be the basis for the upcoming Audi A6 and Q6F and most likely the electric Porsche Cayenne. The battery uses lithium nickel manganese cobalt cells arranged in 12 modules with a net capacity of 95 kilowatt hours 100 kilowatt hours gross porsche was the first automaker to make an 800 volt production ev with the taken and this higher voltage architecture allows for reduced copper use and faster charging speeds find an 800 volt dc charger and the Mackin can charge up to 270 kilowatts if you plug into a 400 volt charger the battery pack effectively splits in half and charges in parallel, reducing charging time significantly. Both the Mackin 4 and Mackin Turbo use permanent magnet synchronous motors on each axle, and the rear motors are rotated 180 degrees to ensure slightly rearward weight distribution. On the Mackin 4, these two motors produce 400 to horsepower and 479 pounds FT, while on the Mackin Turbo, you'll get 630 horsepower and 833 pounds FT of torque. All of these numbers are achieved with overboost, which is only available for a limited time when using launch control. Speaking of acceleration, Porsche says the Macan 4 can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour underscore, in 4.9 seconds, while the turbo was it in 3.1 seconds, Top speeds are 136 miles per hour to 118 kilometers per hour and 161 miles per hour to 159 kilometers per hour. The rear motor also ditches the two-speed gearbox used on the Taken, as the Porsche can achieve its top speed and acceleration targets with just downshifts. Using a multi-speed transmission also helps save weight and reduces drift train losses both of which are benefits to overall efficiency. However, like the Taken, the new Mackin won't offer a one-pedal drive mode, instead managing most of the regenerative braking via the brake pedal. Depending on the battery state of charge, the Mackin EV can produce up to 240 kilowatts of energy when braking. EPA range figures have not been announced. The suspension uses multi-link front and rear. The front suspension design is like a double wishbone arrangement with the upper wishbone divided into two links, which moves the steering axis further forward. Both variants will come standard with air springs and Porsche active suspension management passum, adaptive dampers. New for the Mackin is an optional rear wheel steering system that can turn the rear wheels up to minus one degrees in or out of phase with the front wheels.